Hey everyone, this is Mike from TheBlenderAssembly.com and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to create textured lighting in Blender 2.5. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is show you what we're going to be going for. This is roughly the effect we're going for. I've got a um, nice leaf-like texture here with our Suzanne monkey right there and it looks kind of like they're in a forest. Sorry about the bad quality by the way, we have to upgrade our uh, video recorder. Anyway, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and open up Blender and just go to the default scene and delete this cube and add in a plane. Scale the plane up a little bit. That's pretty good. And add in the monkey head or Suzanne or whatever you want to call it. And just move that up a little and rotate it along the x axis. Okay, that's our basic scene there, and what we're going to do is go into the Modifiers tab and add a Subsurf modifier, and set the monkey to Smooth, and let's go ahead and render this now and see what it looks like. Okay, that's good, um, but you saw there wasn't any texture, because that's because we haven't added one yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete this lamp and add in a spot. Move the spot up. Rotate it. That's good. And render one more time. Okay, that's pretty good. Now what we're going to do is add in the texture. So the way you do that is you go over with the spot selected. Go to the texture tab. Make sure you have the spot selected right there. Hit new. And go to image open up this image I've got here and I'll put a link to this in the video. Okay, that's good and let's render this and see what it looks like right now. Ah, you see this looks really really bad. That's because we haven't really told the lamp how to display the image. Similar to what it's like when you don't do a UV unwrap on an object. And the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna go to mapping in the texture tab and under coordinates change this to view and change the size to 1.3 and the other and the x size to 1.3 and the y size to 1.3 and render one more time and you see we have a much better effect now the problem is this is a little too dark while a branch shadow might be pretty dark these leaf shadows definitely wouldn't be because leaves are translucent they let light through them so what we're gonna do to fix that, it's just really simple. We're just gonna. There's an easier way to do this too, but I'm gonna do this right here now because it's really easy. It's just duplicate that lamp and remove this texture. And next thing we're gonna do is go and turn the energy down to 0.3. And let's render one more time. Ah, you see that's that's much better. We've got a nice subtle shadow here, much more realistic and it's just overall a better image. So uh, thanks for watching our tutorial on textured lighting and check out our site at theblenderassembly.weebly.com and enjoy your day.